Hello guys, this is FM Chushon Academy. You are very welcome. Are you a grade 8 or a grade 9? Are you a parent? You have just come across this video. It's your first time to actually know concerning this school. First, for those ones who is your first time, hit the subscribe button. The red button just down there, hit the subscribe button. Now, we are offering online tuitions to the grade 8 and 9. So if you want to do online tuitions, you want to improve in your grades. You can contact us on those WhatsApp line. Then we'll be able to train you to be effective in tackling exam questions. This is your time, this is your hour, and this is your season. We are able to assist you with online tuitions, grade 8 and 9. Tell your parents, or if you're a parent, you have come across this video, don't let your child miss this opportunity. Or the person we are keeping, we can help them to train them so that they're able to pass their final year exams. For the grade 8, they start early so that we mentor them so that they're able to pass effectively the incoming exam. Okay, so you can contact us on those WhatsApp lines, grade 8 and 9s. Grade 8 and 9s. Okay. Now, as I said, these are private tuitions. These are private tuitions. And not only grade 8 and 9s, even those ones who are seniors, they, we also offer online tuitions for senior class, grade 12, grade 11s, grade 10s, and so on. All those classes are available, not only grade 8 and 9, but even the senior class is available. Now, let's go straight to the past paper. We're going to look at this past paper, guys. We're going to look at this past paper. So that's a Zambian map. And the first question is, what's the name of the river named A? River A, this river that you can see here, what river is that? That river is actually Chambeshi A. When you look at the map, the answer is A, Chambeshi. Okay? Is Chambeshi. So if you look at the answers, you can even see the answer is A. It's even second for you. The answer is A. So the answer is A. So that's why I put A here. So question 7, the answer is A. Question 8. What pair of lake shown on the map has small sardine? Sardine, it means carpenter. So what lakes usually have got carpenter in Zambia? The main lakes that have got carpenter in Zambia. It is actually... Kariba and Tanganyika Sea. It is actually uh, Kariba and Tanganyika Sea. The answer is C. So the answer is actually C. You can see there Kariba and Tanganyika. Those two lakes, Kariba and Tanganyika, they are the main lakes in Zambia that have got carpenter. So if you want to know the, the, the lakes in Zambia that have got carpenter, a lot of carpenter, which is uh, called the uh, Sardine, this word. This word, sardine, you need to know. This word, sardine, this one, sardine, it means carpenter. So the main lakes in Zambia that have got carpenter is actually those two lakes. Okay? Kariba and Tanganyika. Okay, okay, let's go to uh, the next question. Look at that instrument. This instrument, in case you did not know this instrument, it is the wind van. Okay? The wind van. In case you don't know what this instrument is. It is used to measure the direction of the wind. D. The answer here is D. It measures the direction of the wind. You see, it even here it has got the arrow. That arrow is symbolic of what? It's symbolic of direction. Okay? Direction. That arrow is symbolic of direction. So it measures the direction of the wind. So the answer is D here. D here. Direction of the wind. D is the answer. D. Direction of the wind. Okay, so if you look at the answer here, it's even second for you. The answer is D. The wind van, wind van measures the direction of the wind. Okay, there is another one. There's another instrument. It's called the wind sock. It looks like this. It's, it's like a wind van, but it does got a sock like this on it. It's like a sock like this. Okay, this one measures the speed of the wind. It's called wind sock. It has got like a sock. Wind sock. So in case they bring something that looks like it has got a thing like this and then it looks like a sock like that. It's called wind sock, but it's me it measures speed. But this one is different. This one is a wind van. You can see there is an arrow there. It shows direction. That arrow is symbolic of direction. Okay, I was just trying to help you to understand. So it measures direction. Okay. All right. 
so that's it guys let's go so we said it measures direction of the wind next question the table below shows the, those answers the main farming those are these groundnuts sorghum maize and so on the total land use in zambia so that's how how the fields are this one is key states one is 90 14 2 and 5 the main farming associated with with the land use in the table is what what kind of farming is shown here this one is called settled farming just by looking at these crops the type of farming that involves this type of cropping where you are, you are dealing with the uh, sorghum millet cotton and so on it is settled farming d it is settled farming settled farming settled farming it is actually d settled farming you see the answer is even uh, put for you there that is settled farming settled farming that's the one that deals with uh, millet sorghum you know maize and so on fallow and so on so the next question which of the following crops in the table is classified as cereal you need to know what kind of cereal. whenever i deal with cereal definitely it's maize d d is one that's going to be classified as cereal crop c c maize maize is definitely a cereal crop before you even check the others maize is the first cereal crop you see we've got maize maize is a cereal crop we've got rice for example rice is also a cereal crop we have got uh, oats maize rice uh wheat okay all those are, are cereal crops but here there is no wheat there is no rice you see so the only cereal crop there it is actually maize maize is the only cereal crop here because cereal crops are those ones that are that are that got seeds like grains and stuff you see they've got grains okay all right let's go to the next question guys question 13 the main reason why let's look at question 12 the answer is what maize even there the answer is second for you the answer is maize okay the main reason why five percent of the land is left to farrow is to allow what is farrow first what does this word mean farrow in case it's your first time to see this word farrow you know when you go in the farms whether you are a commercial farmer or a subsistence farmer when you go in farms guys you find that most farms after people have uh, we are using a farm sometimes they, they will just leave the farm bare for maybe one year or two years they are not they're not going to plant anything there so they want the farm to be fed down so they don't use that farm for a period of time that is what is called farrow farrow it simply means you leave the land for a period of time without planting on it you see for example you've got a garden and then instead of planting on it this year you just leave it bare and then you plant it next you plant on it next year that aspect of leaving the the, the, the land bare is what is called farrow so that vegetation can regrow so the answer here is actually d the answer here is d vegetation to grow the reason why you leave land like that is for vegetation to what to actually grow so the answer is d here vegetation to grow okay that's why you leave land like that for vegetation to regrow so there will be vegetation there that's going to regrow so that the land is fatter. Okay. All right. Let's look at this. Study the pie chart below and then answer question 14 and 15. Which of the following? Have you seen the pie chart here? There's part X. Part X is the largest. You can see part X here. The whole of this is X. All of this is shaded. It's X. All of it. Here is actually X, and then this is this is this is at my this is dark. These are small dotted and so on. All these are different parts, but the largest part there is actually X. So the question is, which of the following is represented by X? You see, this is electricity consumption. It means how electricity is used. The largest part here is X. What could be X? The largest in Zambia, for example, most of the electricity, where does it go? Where does where is the consumption of electricity? The largest. It's in mining. So the answer is C. Because you know what? Mine, when you go to mines, 
Mines have got big machines. So those machines, they require too much energy to use. So you can't say domestic use. Domestic use, it means using electricity in a house. So domestic, domestic use could be this car one. Okay? Food processing. Food processing can be maybe this one. Okay? Motor assembly. Assembling of motor vehicles. It can be this one. And then, uh, uh, you know, these others can be those. Either that or that. They're smaller. But the largest, the largest use of power, X, is usually for mining. You know, mi mining, you've got big machines there. So they use too much energy, too much electricity. So the answer is actually C, mining. What is a, question 15, what is a major source of electricity consumed by X? Where does this electricity come from that we use in mining? That you use by X? It is from water, hydroelectric power. Because hydroelectric power, that's why there's most energy. Solar power, there's little energy. Petrol power, there's little. Coal power, there's little. Uh, e e electricity that comes from petroleum is little. Solar power is little there. But the largest amount of energy that is used here, as you see, X is the biggest uh, sector there. The biggest uh, uh, sector. So it's from actually hydro, uh, I mean from water. And from water you get HEP, hydroelectric power, HEP. Like for example, if you go at Kariba, Kafue uh, Gorge, you have hydroelectric power there. When you go to Victoria Falls, you have got hydroelectric power. Whenever there are, where, where are there forces, like different waterfalls, that's where hydroelectric power is found. Okay, so the major source of electricity consumed by sector X is hydroelectric power. Okay? Hydroelectric power. So don't get, don't get surprised, don't get confused. It just simply means hydroelectric power. So the answers are here. The first one is mining. So uh, which part, which of the following sectors is, is represented by X? X, where electricity is consumed in Zambia by which sector? Much of the electricity in Zambia is used for mining. So most of the electricity is, is uh, driven towards the mining projects because in the mines, there are many machines, many industries that use those machines. Uh, and uh, you need too much energy to run those machines. Maybe they are uh, smelting uh, copper, they are smelting iron, steel, and so on. So the machines require too much energy maybe to, to melt those minerals and so on even to extract those minerals from the ground. You require machines that are able to grind the rocks, you know, separate minerals and so on. So those machines use a lot of energy, guys. Too much energy. Okay. Let's go to the next. As you can see, what's a major source of energy by sector uh, X? So mu much of the energy that goes to the mining, to the, mi to the mines, is from water. Because water produces the hydroelectric power as i said hydroelectric power okay water produces hydroelectric power the power that is produced from coal is very small same with power produced from petrol and solar as much as we can use solar solar is used for house house consumption okay but for commercial com consumption such as the uh, mines you use uh, hydroelectric power from water okay Let's go to the the next question so that we don't waste much time. We're going to the next question. The next question is, as you can see, this is a population. This is population area. This is the area in a square kilometer, and then the population density. There's copper central province system province and so on. Population is this, and then this is the area. So the first question is, which province has the largest? population definitely which province has got the largest population as you can see Lusaka B you can see this is one point some this is a one point something one point something million one point something million one point something million nine hundred and something this is two million you see this is nine hundred one point something one seven hundred one once one point one million so the one that is the largest here is actually this one, 
191,000. 2 million 191,250. So electricity, this the largest one here is definitely Lusaka. You can see it, this one. All of this here, Lusaka, is the largest, that's why there's largest population. Okay? Which is 2 million, 100, all these are 1 million, 1 million, 1 million, others are 900. But this one is 2 million, 191,225. So the answer here is B. That's why there's the largest population in Lusaka. What is a population density? You know, when you're calculating population density, population density is equal to the population divided by the area. Okay? When you're calculating population density, it is population divided by the area. Population divided by the area. So, they're saying the population density for, for Luapura province. So, you go on the table. Where is Luapura? Luapura is this one. It is five... 5,565 and then uh, 5,565 and then uh, 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 fi yeah, 5,565 and then the population is 900 and this one nine nine hundred nine hundred ninety one thousand ninety two. so you are trying to divide this population. So, this one that is 900 and something, this one, 900 and something, we just make it 1 million because 991 is sort of I easily divide. It is the same as I just say 1 million. Okay? Divided by this one, which is 50, this one, 50 something, 500. It's the same as I just say 50,000. So that they just do it faster. Okay? 50,000, oh, uh, how many zeros? Uh, 50,000 has got, yeah, two, three zeros. One, two, three, this one. So it's the same as I cancel these zeros, I cancel those zeros. This zero comes out, also that zero comes out. Okay? And then what do you have? Yeah. How many times does... Uh, uh, wait first. Let's see. That comes out. That is two. Two point something. Hmm. Okay, that comes out 5 into 5, 1, 5 into 10, it is 2. It is 2. So the population density should be 2, 2, point, two, 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 two something. Two something persons per square kilometer. Actually, the answer here was supposed to be 2 something. Because 50, 5 into 10 is 2. So it's this one here. It's supposed to be 2 something. Not the 20 they wrote here. It's supposed to be 2. This one. They made a mistake. It's supposed to be 2. Not 20. 2. 2. 2 persons per square meter. Because 500 goes twice in 100,000. It goes twice. So it's supposed to be 2 point something persons per square meter. Because population density is usually uh, dividing the total population, the total population divided by uh, the total population divided by. Are we correct? Total population there is nine hundred divided by fifty. Those two zeros cancel out. Yeah, it should be correct unless otherwise. Let's see. Mm.
yeah i'm correct so there it's supposed to be mm. okay just a minute just something i'm trying to 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 work upon so that i just verify whether what we are doing is actually correct i'm just thinking um, how many times does uh, 50 thousand go into 100,000 Okay, am I correct? Okay, I'm still figuring out, trying to understand something. Maybe we are the ones who... Uh, let's divide these numbers so that um how many times does okay if we divide oh here we said b is the answer we said lusaka mm -hmm. we said b is the answer here but how many times does when you divide nine nine one that one um, nine hundred twenty seven divided by this one which is fifty divided by fifty thousand five hundred sixty seven Yeah, when you divide those two, you are going to get something like 20.9, 20.9 something, or 19 point something, actually you are going to get 19. How many times does this into itself, into that number, it goes uh, 19 point something, it goes 19 point something times, 50,000 into into that one it goes it goes 19 point something yeah yeah they are correct actually the answer is actually c because when you divide the uh, 991 you find that it will enter 9.19 point something so it means 19 point maybe 19.9 so when you, when you when you round off this you find when you round off from here this 19 is going to be actually 20 that's the reason why 20 is the answer so it, it originally made a mistake it's actually 20 it's actually 20 because when you divide uh, when you're dividing this number you divide it by 50 you are going to find that we are going to get 19 point something and 19 point something when you round off is going to give you 20 that's how you do it you divide the population divided by the area you can try that you find that it's going to give you 19 point something which will come to 20 okay um yeah you're correct it's there 20 point something Usaka there 19 you are correct okay which of the following has contributed to Zambia's largest population growth? Why is that our country, the population of our country is increasing by the day? Because of uh, high inflation, no, no, no. the main thing is because of improved. The answer actually is healthy. Our healthy standards in Zambia have improved. So because of that, even our population is increasing because less people are dying. Okay? Less people are dying because there's improved healthy. 
uh, facilities and services in our country high life expectancy stable population environment no the main thing here is our population health has increased uh, there's improved health standards in zambia 19 what problem is likely let's check first because the answer actually there is uh, uh what yeah the answer is actually a there is fine what is the what problem is likely to affect lusaka due to population explosion when the population increases in lusaka what kind of problems do you have hunger disease shortage of housing no it is actually c shortage of housing you know when the population lusaka has got less houses so when the population increases in lusaka there'll be less houses you see hunger no 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 there are a lot of there's a lot of food in Lusaka. diseases not exactly shortage of grave site no the main issue here is housing there'll be less housing in Lusaka. there are few houses so it means people need to build more homes when the population expands or there's an explosion of population so as you can see here the answer here is shortage of housing yes we are correct Okay, that is question 19. Question 20 is, uh, the answer is actually here. I can't even go further because the answer is already given for question 20. Which of the following is a push factor in the migration process? Why do people migrate from one place to another? Because of civil, civil, civil it means war within the country. Okay, when people are within the same country there are uh, tribal wars people are you know this tribe is against this tribe or one person is against another person such kind of uh, civil wars between people it causes people to migrate to move from that town where they are into another town okay so civil war. question 21 narrating or recording events that happened in the past is called what when you begin to record events that happened in the past, what happened in 1964, 1950, what kind of uh, study is that? It's just simply called history. When you're studying history, you're recording events that happened in the past. Such kind of records are called history records. Okay, So that kind of study is called the study of the past, where you, have, you record events that happened in the past. The main point here is this part called recording of events. This one, recording of events. So, such a thing is called history. So, history is a study of the past where individuals begin to record events that happened in the past so as, so as to, uh, to know what happened in the past. You find people are studying about uh, dinosaurs, you know, those things, that's past information. So when you begin to record what happened in the past, even those things that happened to the disciples, for example, the disciples of Jesus, you know, those, that information was recorded in the Bible. So it happened in the past. So the study of the past is called what? History. Okay? Where you are beginning to record past or narrating past events. Okay? You are recording or you are narrating past events. That one is called history. Again, another aspect of history could be uh, as I said, studying of dinosaurs, those things in the past, studying of um, like people who lived in a long time ago, like like Shaka Zulu, uh, you learn about Shaka, Shaka, uh, you, you learn about Adolf Hitler, uh, Benito Mussolini, you know, all those people. When you're studying such things, it's called history. You are narrating and you are recording such information. You are narrating and recording past information. You are narrating and recording. You are recording what kind of information passed. Such a thing is called history. So the answer is C. So thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Those ones who haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. This is FM Chushon Academy. Subscribe to the channel. If you have got friends who need help, tell them about us. Give them our phone number or give their parents our phone number. And then you'll be able to help your friends as well. Hit the subscribe button. Remember, this is FM Chushon Academy, the best online school in Zambia to educate children on how to pass their exams for ECZ. Until then, keep studying and keep giving yourself to books. I love you all.